Dennis, the National Weather Service is busy tonight. They're confirming reports of three possible tornadoes, at least working to confirm those. Those tornadoes including Mayaka City, Gulfport, and Sun City Center. Our live team coverage begins in Gulfport, where our cameras captured a restaurant badly damaged in today's storms. Our Eric Waxler is live now. Eric, what are you seeing out there? Well, an amazing job of a cleanup from this community that really came together and took away many of the tree limbs that came down. Was it a tornado? People here definitely think so. This is one of the trees that came down, and it came down right into this popular eatery known for selling hot dogs, Italian beef, and ice cream. Now, I put a sign up yesterday saying closed due to weather, ironically. Yummy's restaurant on Beach Boulevard is normally open seven days a week. But owner Richard Rialli knew Tropical Storm Andrea was headed this way. I just didn't think it'd be smart to open up today. Thank God. That's the man. That decision might have saved people from serious injury after a tornado whipped through this neighborhood, taking down dozens of trees along the way. One of them, a 200-year-old cedar tree, crashed right into Yummy's front room. People tend to sit in the dining room when it's raining out, and thank God we were closed. Blocks away near the beach, flooding was the problem, closing some roads and bringing the ocean to residents' doorsteps. This area experienced similar trouble last year when Tropical Storm Debbie hit. Oh, it's nothing new to Gulfport. Um, certainly we'll have it again, but this, this isn't the worst, but clearly it's still causing people some, some problems. Yeah, and back live, take a look inside there and imagine if there were people that had gone in to take cover from this storm, what might have happened if not for the good decision made by the owner to close up as this tropical storm came our way. Now they have not made a decision on whether uh, to not, when, when to open this place again. They're going to take a look at how structurally sound the property is before they make that decision. Live in Gulfport, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.